morning you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Mary Margaret and today I honestly just felt like picking up my vlog camera I don't have like a specific title planned yet for this video but I'm just gonna take you guys along for the next day or two and wanted to pick up my camera and film Today is actually Valentine's Day, so you just saw the little gifts Noah got me. He also got me chocolate covered strawberries last night, cookie cake, and those beautiful flowers, which was seriously so sweet, and then I just woke up to that. So I'm feeling very spoiled this morning. We are just getting ready to head out the door. I think we're either going to get Dunkin', because I'm assuming they'll have like heart-shaped donuts, or Chick-fil-A breakfast, either one. We're gonna see what we're gonna go get. And then we have to go drop off a package out that way. That's why I was like, you know what? It's all time today, let's just go grab some breakfast. Um, so that's our plan for this morning, but I'm just gonna take you guys along. We're going to dinner later tonight. And then we have some like exciting home things coming in the mail that I wanted to show you guys. So figured I would take you guys along. Oh, that's it, thank you. Sweetheart. Comment down below if you're a chicken biscuit or a chicken minis person. No, we did the biscuit, I did the minis. It was a little greasy. We are back from going to get breakfast and running errands. I ordered a dresser. I posted a poll on my story like two weeks ago now. This one ended up being a favorite by like a landslide. So I went ahead and ordered this one. It's from West Elm. I can go ahead and link it in the description, but I already started putting some stuff in here. These are all of like my tiny like crop tops, tube tops that I don't wanna like take up space hanging in a closet. And then over on this side, I'm gonna order off of Amazon little like organizers for all of my sunglasses. I have them in a different little cabinet right now, but I figured it would be fun to have them all laid out. And then as for the rest of the drawers, I'm gonna put like active wear, lounge wear, and all things like that. So this got delivered yesterday and they unboxed it all outside. So there was like no mess in here and they came and brought it in and set it all up. So. That was super nice. I'm just glad to finally have something in here. It feels more like put together now. Obviously there's still this big mess in front of me, but just having furniture in here makes it feel a lot more homey because before it was literally just a mirror and a rug and it felt so bare and empty. I think I'm going to hang this artwork above it. We had this in our guest bedroom in the apartment um, and I feel like it would just look really good in here. I love the colors with the dresser. So we're gonna try and get that hung up soon. This is from Gray Malin. I'm obsessed with this print. It's the I Am Busy in the Silver balloons he has a ton of really cool pieces on his website and i also have his coffee table book so i can't recommend his stuff enough it can be pretty pricey but i do think it is like worth it if you're gonna have it be like a statement piece in your house i picked up the vlog camera because i just went and dropped off some depop orders and of course while i was out i got notifications that more stuff sold so i'm gonna go ahead and pack those orders and either drop them off later today or if I like go run errands tomorrow, I'll drop them off then. I think someone bought the last triangle bikini and then I also sold my Doc Martens. I don't know why I was like dead set on getting these shoes in college. I just thought they were like a necessity. They were literally over $200 and I think I've worn them maybe a total of three times. So they have just been sitting collecting dust and it was time to get rid of them. So I'm so happy that someone bought those. And then someone also bought this triangle bikini. I love their suits, but I just really haven't been grabbing for them recently. And I feel like someone else would get better use. I also wanted to show you guys, I'm getting some goodies ready to do a giveaway over on my Instagram. It is February and I haven't done a giveaway in so long. So I wanted to just like get together some of my favorite things to give back to you guys. We have a YSL perfume. These are literally my favorite. And I'm also throwing in a YSL mascara and their candy glaze, which is literally the best lip product. I feel like these three are like my staple things that I have in like my makeup and beauty routine. And then I'm also throwing in these Babe Lash Brightening Under Eye Patches. These are so nice to use like when you're getting ready. And then we also are throwing in these Glamnetic Nails. I have a cute little like beachy keychain. I just ordered this for myself and I was like, you know what? We're gonna get another one to give away. 
And then we have this cute little pouch. I feel like you could bring this to the beach and throw like sunscreens in it, or you could even use it as like a clutch going to dinner. So very versatile. And then we've got Glamnetic lashes. We have little like face towels and Super Goop, Salt and Stone, and Sol de Janeiro. So a lot of good brands going on in here. We even have ALV earrings, seashell earrings. So I feel like this is super cute. I'm still adding to it, but I'm sure by the time this video goes live, the giveaway will already be posted. I don't think I'm gonna do any like crazy rules. Like I literally might just do a story giveaway and have you guys like swipe the bar. If you don't wanna see me do a giveaway on YouTube, comment down below, cause I feel like that could be super fun to do as well. guys i am so excited my amazon packages just came in the mail i ordered this like wicker woven basket bin that i think is gonna go right here under this mirror and i also just got in my seven foot faux olive tree these are both from amazon this is gonna go in our bedroom i'm so excited to put it together i didn't realize i was gonna have to build both of these i'm sure it's easy but let's go ahead and do that real quick not seven feet. Uh, did they send the wrong one? Oh, I did. This is so cute. I was worried that it wasn't seven feet, but then I saw that there was the attachment piece. I'm gonna like fluff these branches to make them look a little bit more realistic. Kind of like a Christmas tree, you just have to fluff it. Sorry, there's a mess going on and that's hard to hide it because the mirror just reflects everything, but I actually love the way this turned out. I was thinking it came with the pot. I don't know if they showed a pot in pictures or what, but in my mind I was like, oh yeah, it's coming with one, but that's fine. I wanted to pick something out anyway, like a little bit more like vintage artisan styled. So I'm excited to start looking for those. I have found one on Amazon, but I just need to measure it to see if it would be like way too tiny for the space. Like it looks pretty nice natural compared to some of the other options I found. This one is like a lot more full looking. Some of them are like very skinny. Um, and I like the like uneven wonkiness of the trunk branches. I feel like that definitely helps sell the look a lot more. Um, and I don't think this was crazy expensive compared to like obviously the one on restoration hardware and all of that. So I will link this and the wicker bin in the description. I'm thinking this one's gonna have a little bit more putting together to do. Not awful, but I was expecting it to come done for some reason. You were always smarter. I was the one to take a look. So cute! Probably could find something very similar to this at like Home Goods or Target, but I have not had any look at Home Goods recently, and Target is pretty far from us, so I'm not going there super often. But the quality of this, you guys, is actually insane. Like, it is so nice. It has like a little, um, opener right there so it's like soft closing soft opening and it is the perfect size for this cozy little corner i'm thinking we could either throw shoes in here we could do extra blankets dog toys literally whatever but a shoe bin honestly might be the smartest move just since it is right by the front door but i think i'm gonna put like a little pillow right there and call it a day we are about to start getting ready for dinner and i think i'm gonna wear this dress oh definitely backwards I think I'm gonna wear this dress. It's from Anthropology, and I've had it for a while now, and I haven't had like the chance to wear it, so I feel like tonight could be perfect. It's like touching on the pink for Valentine's Day, but still very neutral in my style. I will say it's a little bit chilly outside, so I might need to throw on like a denim jacket or like bring a cardigan or something to throw over my shoulders. But we are sitting inside, so it's not like the end of the world. I'll definitely be warm while we're seated inside. But I think I'm gonna throw this dress on and then do these platform sandals that are from Free People. I ordered these on Amazon, so I can go ahead and link those down below. But I feel like this will be super cute and then I'll just throw on a purse. I still need to do my makeup and I'm realizing I definitely did not do my hair. Hopefully, 
yeah, we're just gonna go natural because I honestly don't think I have time to do anything to it. And I just put heat on it last week, so I kind of wanna give it a break. I don't put heat on my hair that often. So I think we're just gonna go natural hair and a cute little outfit. So I'll show you guys once my makeup is done and the outfit is on. I just finished doing my makeup. I was only using my phone screen as like my mirror because I was filming a get ready with me. And I just did a story time on how me and Noah met and our first date. Our first date is actually really funny. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure to go and follow me so you can go and watch that. But now it is time to get the outfit on. I'm actually very impressed with how the makeup turned out for not having a mirror in front of me. I think this is the final look. I just threw the dress on. It's so cute. I still need to take the tag off, but I just love the colors. It feels very me. And then I threw on those free people platform sandals. It's a little bit hard to tell. The sun is going down, so I apologize that it's a little bit dark in here, but I think this is super cute. It's more of a casual dinner outfit tonight, but I didn't really feel like getting too glam since I am leaving my hair natural. I will put it down, but here is the fit, and I hope you guys all enjoyed celebrating Valentine's Day. I'm just about to get ready for bed, and I wanted to show you guys some of the new products I've been using. I am working with Lumino over on Instagram, but I am not required at all to share this on YouTube. Any other teeth whitening strips that I've tried hurt my teeth so bad. Like within five minutes of having the strips on them, I have to immediately take them off because it like takes off your enamel and makes your teeth like have these sharp pains. So I've always been super hesitant to try any other teeth whitening brands, but I've always seen so many people post about Lumino and I was like, okay, I have to try this out for myself. So I have been using them and I'm loving them. I'm so excited that like I get to work with them over on Instagram because this is a brand I genuinely really love. These are on Amazon. I don't know if they sell them like in person. They might be at Target, Walmart. I'm honestly not sure, but I got these off of Amazon and I'm pretty sure they gave me a link that gets you $5 off. So if you're interested, it'll be in the description. And then the other thing I did tonight was did self tan, which I don't self tan often, but when I do, I always wanna make sure it's a good one because self tanners can be pretty tricky. It's San Mariz. I did shade medium, but I also have the darker shade. So I like to swap in and out of both. It really just depends on the mood that I'm in. But tonight I did medium. And then this is my personal favorite. It's their face tanning drops. You just mix it into your moisturizer, like your regular moisturizer. It doesn't have to be anything specific. And it just develops overnight, which is really nice. So I will update you guys in the morning. I feel like you can already kind of tell that I have a nice bronze glow going on, but I'll update you guys in the morning so you guys can see the final results once it's fully developed. I just woke up and I am so impressed with this self tan. I mean, obviously I love it, but it just like every single time I'm like, it's so good. It doesn't have like a super intense smell. Um, and it's not streaky at all. I did exfoliate and obviously used their mitt. So like that's probably the best application process, but the color is so good. I haven't even washed it off yet, but like, I just look so bronzed and like, it looks like I was just spent the whole day at the beach. I think me and I were gonna go for a run this morning. It is very gloomy, which I was telling him on our last run, anytime the weather's bad, it's just like so unmotivating for me to get outside and do stuff, but we're gonna push past the bad weather. We already went on a run once this week, but my goal for this month was to run once a week and the last time I ran was the first time and it's the week of the 14th. So we're doubling up this week to make up for it. I wanna get back into the groove of running. So I'm wearing this cute little like gray blue set from Kosha Fit and then I just threw on a sweatshirt because it is a little bit chilly. And then we have my Hoka's. I kind of wanna get new shoes, new tennis shoes because I've had these for a while. But if y'all have any good um, running shoe recommendations, leave them in the comments. Are you ready? Ready to go on a walk? Uh, 
I ordered a few things from Free People because I'm going on a trip at the end of this month and I wanted to show you guys. These are probably like the most controversial item on TikTok right now. It's the barrel jeans from Free People. I did the smallest size I could get because I know they run big. Free People usually runs pretty big. I would say I'm normally a 24 or 25 in pants and I ordered the 25. They're definitely still a bit loose, but I also think they were going for like the slouchy oversized fit. So I don't think it's like a big problem. They're also way more low rise than I was expecting, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm actually obsessed. I think they're so cute. I did like the blue and white pinstripe and there's like distressing. It looks like paint splatters all over them. So they're more of a worn in look, which I really, really love. Last thing I'll show y'all is this little set that is also from Free People. I'm not kidding. If I could recommend one thing from Free People, it would be this set. I think it's called the Malibu Surf Set. And like I said, I already have two others. So this is my third one. And it's just like the perfect cozy, lounge set. You could wear it on travel days. You could wear it to the beach to run errands, hang out around the house. I'm not kidding. It's like literally the perfect outfit for anything, especially for like Florida spring vibes, because even though it's technically like a sweater set, it is so lightweight that you can just throw it on and you're not gonna like have a heat stroke. It has been a little while and Noah just finished making us dinner. This is like our favorite thing right now. If you just watched my what I eat in a week, then you're probably already familiar with this, but it's our current favorite. We just throw in white jasmine rice and then we cut up chicken breasts. I say we, this was Noah. And he just uh, cooked this on the pan and threw on some hoisin sauce and sesame seeds. And it is seriously so good. It's so easy and pretty fast. I know I mentioned The Bachelor in one of my other vlogs and some of you guys commented that y'all were watching. If you just watched the double week episode, I just finished catching up. I feel like so much went down. I tried to get Noah to watch with me, but he was not interested. I feel like Maria is minding her own business and then she just constantly has this target on her back. If you're also watching The Bachelor, comment down below what you guys are thinking of the season and like what's happened with all of the girls because I was literally just like shocked the whole time because they know this is all being filmed and like people are gonna see the way that they're acting. So I don't know, it's just like mind boggling to me. I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us the last two days. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.